watching Lynn TV, your local internet news station from Paphos. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main news. Traffic had to find alternative routes as heavy rainfall over the weekend across Paphos district caused flooding in Gato Paphos roads with some busy streets collecting close to two feet of water. Elsewhere, the Paphos Fire Brigade pumped out flooded basements of shops and houses. No serious damage or injuries were reported. Meanwhile, the Paphos Water Development Department says that the heavy rainfall has not significantly increased supplies in local dams. Plans for next year's Aphrodite Festival Opera event are underway with Paphos Mayor Savas Vergas and a municipality delegation visiting St. Petersburg for talks with the local opera company. The St. Petersburg Opera have proposed to present the marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Vergas says that the Aphrodite Festival Committee has already drawn up a short list of European companies which are interested in participating in the 2010 festival. Police news now. A 76-year-old Strumpi woman was killed on Saturday night when a car hit her outside the local police station. The 28-year-old driver claimed that she couldn't see the woman who was walking at the bottom of the hill. And a Ukrainian man was found dead on the balcony below his apartment, which is rented by a construction company as an office. A television wire was found next to his body. A forensic investigation is underway. A 16-year-old boy was injured during a hunting accident as the season started on Sunday. The boy sustained facial injuries after being hit by pellets while out hunting with his father. He is in Nicosia General Hospital. Finally, three cyclists who are raising money for the water needs of a Gambian village started a week-long ride around the Republic of Cyprus on Sunday morning outside Paphos Castle. Cycle for Gambia is aiming to raise 65,000 euros for Nyongon village in Gambia in order to supply the village with a borehole and water tank to serve the community's domestic and economic needs. Well, this morning we're setting off from Paphos. We're heading down towards um, Limassol. That's day one and then we're going to follow it anti-clockwise round. So the next day is um, Limassol Larnaca. Day three, we've got a loop which goes Larnaca around the High Napa down to the eastern side and then back to Larnaca. Day four, we're going up to Nicosia. Day five, we're going Nicosia Trudos to Pedula. So that's when the real hard work starts. And then we're going from um, Day six is going to be um, Pedulus up to Catapirgos, and then the final day, the homecoming, is Catapirgos finishing off here in the harbour. Sponsors to date include Paphos Municipality. Donations can be made online at www.cycleforgambia.org. Well, that's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more local news.